Okay, so like I said, this is the Game of Thrones Complete Collection box set that I mentioned in my haul video. It is freaking huge. This is, this is, this is actual wood. They made this with wood. And it is very highly detailed. There's a little saying there on the back from Bitch Queen Cersei. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. It came in a box, but the box is way too big. And I thought, you know what? No one really cares about the box. It's just black. It has nothing really interesting on it. So I'm just going to show you the, the actual collection box itself. So that's hair. And yeah, it's got that little window effect of everything inside. And these inside are just absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you, as you'll see here in a minute. And then this little, this thing, I hate it so much because it took me legit 10 minutes to get this back, in, get it in here like this and locked in. And now it's not wanting to come off. Give me a minute. Get out of there. But as you can tell, that's the hand, the pin for the hand of the king is used to hold this together, which this was not the smartest move by them. It was a, it was a cool design idea, but in reality it just doesn't work all that well because it takes forever to get it to go in all right gonna need some room for this one all right so as you can see it's also got the tabs for each of the seasons they kind of lay over each other you have to get them like that to get it over to, to fit properly i realized after 20 minutes of struggling come out i just want one give me one i don't want the window okay fine window you come to yeah why are you there? Get out the way. But yes, as I was saying, this, these are just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the detail on this. I don't know who did this, but I wish I were you because you, my friend, are an artiste, which I am not. And then, like it says, this is disc one. And disc two for season one. Get out. You can see the full effect. I mean, just look at that. That's just gorgeous. Just pretty. But yeah, this is season one. And if you look look, and you, you're a fan of the show and you kind of know what happens, you can tell from the picture, from the, from this, that it actually goes along with what happens in the season. It has, has some little, like, tips and hints about what happens. And then as you can... And anyone who's seen the show knows exactly what that is. This is just three. Four. Four. Get out of there. On the world. I see that. They did not make this easy to come out. There we go. But yeah. Dragon! And then up here, it's just kind of like the night sky because, again, as I said, if you've seen the show, you know what that is. Still gorgeous, especially with with who that is. Let me just, for time's sake, I'm just going to put that in there like that. And then we come to season two, probably my favorite season of the show. Come on. Get out. Disc two. This one. There we go. And again, like, there's the elk. That bitch. It's never liked her. Granted, I don't know many people who did. But again, just like with the first seasons, art, absolutely gorgeous. And it does kind of give hints as to what happens in the season. It kind of follows along the story, or at least the major parts of the story. It has very fine details. I mean, just look at that. Took me a while to notice that, but those are like those are like hints for, for what's to come in future seasons, actually. And then there's Tyrion. Give me a second. Put these just back in. That's one. Yep. No, that's two. I don't care if it's upside right right now, but I care that's in the right spot. And the back's kind of got the same it's not got the overall arching it's got just a little design i'm not gonna actually take the disc out for this one because there's really nothing behind them this time the flames continue on this and there's a little overlap and a little bit of smoke but the smoke doesn't matter because all that matters is that right there one of the most creepy one of the creepiest scenes i've ever seen in the history of television that part if you remember what happened there freaked me smooth out i was like i was not expecting this today 
three. Yeah, come here. And again, anyone who's seen the show knows exactly what this is. What this is depicting. Hold on, let me go up to the top, show you the smoke and the wolves. The lovely wolves. That asshole. And like I said, if you've seen the season, you know exactly what is going on here, what this is depicting. And it also shows a little, like other small bits of the rest of the season, like her in the cage with the bear there. But yeah, like I said, if you've seen the show, you know exactly what this is. The saddest moment of the show, the part that actually made me want to cry. I didn't cry, but it made me want to. Made me want to feel something. I didn't. I don't feel anything unless it's for Marvel movies and Iron Man Die Sad. And again, I'm not taking out the disc for this one. It just shows the, the wolves there. And behind this, it just shows the rest of, like, because the spear and that. But nothing really interesting. And then just gray up top. And then we, hit, we come to season four. Fun season. Not their best. Definitely not their worst. But fun. But the the lawn. And that friggin' snake. I hate snakes. Thank you, Dan and Jones, for making me absolutely hate snakes. No, that's not why, but that's one of the reasons. We all know what you're doing. <laughs> I thought that, that was like the best part of this entire show when he did that. No spoilers, but definite definite hints for those of you who have not seen the show. And since I didn't say it before, if you haven't seen the show, highly recommend. Very good. And then there's that. It's a little kind of more obscure, but it's still pretty cool. And all the shows behind here is the rest of like the, the tree hand. And then nothing on top again. And then we come to season the fifth. With again, that asshole. Like I liked it. Call these people. And that super creepy ass mountain. And the dragons! Burning the shit out of people. Those masks that gave everyone nightmares. Or maybe that was just me. <laughs> That's fine. But again, the, the attention to detail this artist gave was just magnifique. Beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous. I say it, say it was worth the extravagant amount of money I spent spent on this. I'm not even kidding. This is probably the most I've ever spent on any on any single thing. And oh, honestly, I'm I'm gonna just say it. It was worth it. It was worth it just because how freaking beautiful this is. Also because I didn't actually have seasons three through se three through seven of the show. And I'll take this one out so you can see more of the full effect. These out since it does actually say something this time. Traitor! Going back to the Force Awakens there. The swords pointing at the crows and again, nothing up top. I wonder what traitor they can be talking about there. Hmm. And again, all these like deal with what happens like right at the end of the season. And this one, the, the end of this season, trip, trip me up. All right, season six. We're getting there, you guys and gals. Very slow, and I don't have much to say, so I'm running out of things to say. So if it becomes awkward, if awkward silences come, you know why. It's because I'm a very boring person and don't have much to say. Or I'll, I have too much to say, and I've already said it. But look at the detail. The crows. That thing, guy, person. I don't really remember much of season six other than... Oh, yeah, this is... The, yeah, I remember this season now. Oh, uh, yeah, he's an asshole. I think everyone agrees with that. And everyone hates him. But again, like with all the other seasons, this show is basically a rundown of a lot of the major points of the season, especially that little bit there, which was gut wrenching <laughs> for some people, I'm sure. Yeah, that's two. All right. Tres más. Then. We all know the sadden if you've seen the show, you know the sadness behind this image. Yeah, there's that. Now we come to anticlimactic season seven. I'm not gonna lie, I did not like this season. I actually like season eight better than I liked season seven. I'm not, I'm not saying it was better than season seven, I just liked it more. Then we see the 
the that yeah that that we don't like to talk about. It still, it just kind of pissed me off when that happened. And then we have our fun little history lesson here that changes history. And the crow falling with the message. Again, the attention to detail on these things are just absolutely worth the price of admission for some of us that are just absolutely crazy. Not crazy rich, I'm just crazy. I'm by no means rich. Wish I were. And then there's that throne, that, yeah. Sadness, the roses. Eh. You can call that one. And we come to everyone's favorite season, season eight. And yes, that was sarcasm. Raise a glass to freedom. Fuck that. We got the swords, the dragon, the ooh, the evil dead. Ash, Ash would have an easier time with these guys than John Snow did. And then that bitch. Mm. But again, the attention to detail. This one doesn't actually give off a lot of what happens in the season. It's just basically just the fight scene there at, Win at Winterfell. Which, I mean, it's still absolutely gorgeous, but I wish they would have kept with the theme here. I mean, it does have a little bit here and there. Very small details, but nothing huge. But I wish it had gone. But it wasn't as big as the other ones. As big into the other details as the other one was. Granted, not all that much happened in this season. Not all that much interesting, at least. And then there's that. Honestly, I honestly don't even remember what the hell that is. I remember seeing it in the show, but I don't remember what, what it is. I hope so. I'm still nothing. And now that we finished with the show, we come to the bonus, bonus fun stuff. This is an exclusive bonus disc, and this is just bonuses from like other bonus discs that came out with other seasons, which is weird. Has the nice little spears, little fight there. It's still gorgeous. And then we have the throne. It looks, still looks like the most god awful, most uncomfortable chair in the history of of all kind. Not just mankind, just all kind. I should win. That means you're two. And that one's a little warped. I'm not happy about that. But you live and learn. And this has the little episode guide. I thought it would be bigger, but no. And then I realized that there's really not all that much to the show. And there's the saying again, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. That's very nice. And then we have the Conquest and Rebellion disc, the little animated history of Westeros and other places. And then all the swords leading up to the Chair of Swords with swords everywhere. Look at all the swords. You get a sword, you get a sword, you get a sword. Everyone gets a sword. Sword, 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 sword. Get your swords here, get your swords here. But yeah, that's basically it. It's a, fu it's a fun set. Fun set. In my opinion, it was worth it. Mainly because, I mean, the only seasons I actually have were seasons one, two, three, and eight. This, those were the only seasons I had, so. And getting the, and getting the other uh, four seasons. Yeah, other four seasons. And, like, I sold the, those seasons on eBay. They were still books. I got, like, almost a bit of... I got a sum of my money back on it. Get back in there. And I'm a... Come on. Get in there. That's where you belong, isn't it? Yep, that's where you go. Get in. Thank you. But I'm going to show you how ridiculous this thing is to close. Or I'm going to try to. I know for a fact I cannot do it with one hand. And then we have six. That is not how you go in there, let me see. There we go. Oh, just cinco. Yeah. As you can tell, they have these like little placeholders that they sit in. Nice at the top and at the bottom. Forgive me, I do these videos laying on my, sitting in my bed because like there's nowhere in my house where I can actually just do a video like this without being disturbed by someone. My mom could be at work and I do these video and I do this video here and, and I do it 
on the kitchen table and she'd walk in and be like, hey, then what the hell are you doing? Like, mom! I have like six followers to worry about. Which, for those of you that subscribe to me, thank you very much. I, I, it does mean quite, quite a bit to me. Thank you very much for, for that. I honestly just did this for me to have, because I've always wanted to, didn't really care if anyone watched. But I'm glad that y'all do. All right, now let's see how ridiculous this is to close. You have to hold this down. You gotta hold this part down. While holding it down, you gotta pull this over. Lift it over on top. You gotta make sure that part, that the top comes out, not the bottom. If the bottom comes in, you gotta start all over again. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. And you see, you got that little, little bit. Come on, get in there. Get in there. See, this is ridiculous. Thank you. And then you have to grab this here. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. There we go, get it in there. Then you have to, while it's like that, oh, oh, put it in too far. Then you have to wrangle that on top. Eh. While wrangling it in, you also gotta, while holding it down with it, with this hand, we're about to have to go go back to two hands because you have to hold it down with this while also pushing, pushing, pushing it through with this to get in there. It's ridiculous. But I found the secret. It took a while, but I found it. Hold on one second. Or two minutes. Come on. Get in there. I don't know how to edit video. This is where I need to learn how to edit videos. Because if I, this has been, there we go. Wouldn't have, y'all wouldn't have to worry about that. There we go. Finally got it. <sighs> there we go. It's in. But anyways, yes. That was. <clears throat> Anyways, that was the Game of Thrones Complete Collection collectible box set. Lovely box set. It's very nice. Very wood. Very ridiculous to close, but I love it. It's beautiful, and it is very well made. Whoever made this, you should be proud of yourself for how beautiful it is, and ashamed of yourself for making that was so damn difficult. But anyways, it's lovely. I don't think I showed you all this side. It's got the Game of Thrones logo with the Complete Collection and HBO written there on the bottom. Why are you not focusing? Focus. Focus. Thank you. And the H bow in there. Thank you. But yep, that was it. I hope y'all enjoyed. I sure did until I had to put that back in. That's about the only that's literally the only downfall of this is this is the most ridiculous way of closing it ever. But it's still freaking gorgeous. I love and I absolutely adore the window effect there. You can see everything. Anyways, thanks you guys and gals. Hope you come back. If you liked the video, give me a, give it a like. If you like me with my day's last voice and craziness, uh, then give me a subscribe. If you would like, maybe, please, please, please. Thank you.